who is going to win the NBA Finals, how many games you have it, and possibly who you got Finals MVP. See, since you're so excited, go ahead. Yeah. All right, man. I'm going to go ahead and say it, bro. I'll go ahead and say it, bro. It's going to be the Nuggets. It's going to be the Nuggets. I've watched the playoffs, this whole entire playoffs. Um, The Nuggets are the best team this year's playoffs, bro. You can look at it. I um I I, I was reserving judgment to the first game in the Lakers uh Denver series to see if it was um if they even matched up. And after watching that first game, I knew that they were the better team. And I think after watching the first game of the finals, we'll see clearly that they're the better team. They're better than um than on um, the Heat. They uh I feel like. It would have been even worse. I'm glad Boston didn't win because I feel like they would have done Boston worse than they're gonna do the Heat. Um, I I do believe the Heat are gonna find a way to get a game. So I'm giving them Denver and five. Denver and five. I think they'll get one game, but I think they're gonna end it in um at home game uh game five. Interesting. Okay. Well, I disagree with one thing. I thought Boston was the better matchup for Denver than uh than Miami and also Boston had they won they would get game one and two at home which I think makes it more difficult for Denver now Denver's at home and what's interesting going into this game one on Thursday Denver hasn't played since last Tuesday yeah so it's gonna be interesting to see if they come out rusty and did Miami benefit from actually playing more games that that's always interesting to watch um, I think Jimmy Butler is too, too good to get swept in this series. Yeah. I, I do have Denver. I'm going with the Nuggets in six games. I think, uh, I think they split the first two. I think they split the second two. And I think Denver uh, wins game six in Miami to win the title. Um, and I, and I just think that they're better and deeper overall. Uh, the Jokic is the best player in the series. Jamal B- and Murray can play as if he's the best player in the series because he he steps it up in the postseason. I like what I'm seeing out of Aaron Gordon, what Bruce Brown, it? and those players in the playoffs. I think Butler's too good just to like uh, get swept. I don't care who wins the series. I really like both teams. I am fine either way, either winner. I just want really good games. Denver's got home court. They've been the better team all year. They've got the best player in the series. I don't have a reason to pick Miami. I'm going to go Denver in six games. And the, I'm going to go Jokic averages a triple-double and wins finals MVP. Okay, okay. Um, oh, not to cut you off, Vicks. Hold on. Let me ask you. You're good, you're good. I want to ask a question, man, because he brought this up, and I wanted to say it earlier. What the hell is it with Jamal Murray? What does he do? What clicks for him? In the I don't. Playoffs, bro. I don't know, but I love players like that. Like I, yeah, I, man. I love that. Like I love that he takes these bigger games more serious and just plays even better. I love it. I don't know what it is though. It's like he he would be an MVP conversation if he would do this during right. throughout the year. Right. I, I, I don't understand how he just clicks. It just clicks for him as soon as the playoffs on uh, um go. So he, well, I, I like him. Well, I think that's what holds Jamal Murray back from people saying he's a top 10 player is because yeah. he just doesn't do enough in the regular season and wows people enough. But uh, they, 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 if they win the finals and he balls, I think that could do it. Yeah. And that, that, like you just had a point when you said people from people saying he's a top 10 player because immediately when you said that, my face just frowned it. Frowned. <laughs> when you, like Jamal right. Murray, top 10 players, I'm like, no, that means I can't name 10 players better than him. And, right. and that, would, that would be absurd to me. But I damn sure can't name 10 players better than him in the playoffs. Right. Well, time you putting some respect on that young bull's name. But okay, 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 okay. Theo knows where I'm going with this. I said it after they beat the Suns. I had the Suns winning the whole thing. I said, look, the Suns are going to beat Denver because I can't pick against Durant and Booker and Aiden and Chris Paul. And then lo and behold, Aiden and Chris Paul didn't play well that was whack but nonetheless nonetheless Denver was definitely the better team in that series because Aiden didn't play the last game though 
He missed the last game. He did. Oh, it was well over before the, that. The closeout game, but but he didn't play well at all, regardless. So that's either here or there. That doesn't matter. I thought Booker and Durant could maybe carry him there, but they couldn't do it because Jokic and Murray were just too good. They're going to be too good again. I want to go five like C, but I'm not going to go five just because I'm going to give the Heat some respect. And this is when they're going to get swept, but I'm finally giving them some respect. They're going to lose this series, but I'm going to go in six like Yvonne, but I'm going to say it's going to be a clear six. It's going to be like not even co- really competitive. I got the Nuggets winning the first two. I think the Nuggets split with Miami, whether it's game three or game four. They'll go back up 3-1. I think that the Heat, Butler, I'll give them one more game, and then after that, it's closed out game six. I got the, I got the Nuggets win um, the finals, and I got the Joker. Jokic, MVP. What's the final uh, format? Is it two? Is it two, three? They're two, gonna win it in Miami. They're gonna no, win it in Miami. No, it's just it's just like the rest of our playoffs. <laughs> two, two, one, one, one. Okay. Um, they used I'll, to they used to do the two, three, two, and they they stopped. They got away with it like five, six years ago because they thought the team with not the home court with the three games in the middle they thought was a big advantage at home. Yeah. So I didn't mind it personally. But uh, but uh, the, the NBA thought it was too much, so they're gonna stick with the two, two, one, one, one. Yeah. Um, also, I also sorry, Keo, cut you off. I'm also gonna feel bad for Jimmy Butler if they win this series because that would mean two finals losses in, in, in a in the playoffs when he or in the finals where he was clearly the underdog. Um, uh, I just feel bad because I really want him to get one. Uh, I like Jokic as well. I like Murray, so I don't mind who wins the series. But I do feel bad for Mur- or for Butler if he loses the series. He's gonna probably have to leave Miami. Yeah. <clears throat> um, just another indication how bad this NBA Finals is because we hearing words of maybe Miami will take one. I'm gonna feel <laughs> sorry for Jimmy <laughs> Butler. I'm showing some respect to the, the Miami Heat. <laughs> Like what? Really? This is this is a good NBA Finals matchup by those words that you guys spew. Brother, right Nuggets now? are just too good. Well, with that being said, man, man, nah, do what you ah. Uh-uh, before you go, say what you picked on my phone. Don't backtrack because I got the text messages to prove it. Who you Uh-oh. got? Boys, I'm, ta- really I'm taking. I'm, I ain't afraid to say. It. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm taking the Miami Heat to win the NBA Finals, man. The Heat, <laughs> how many games? Wow. The Heat. How many games? Uh, it'll be five or six. Oh no, it'll you got five. five right here. It'll be five. It'll be five. It'll, it'll be five or six games. Well, you gotta so. make up your mind now. You just said our predictions are gonna be posted. I got, I got, I got it in six games. I got Miami oh, in six games. Back, it doesn't matter, though, man. I'm picking Miami regardless. The hype yeah. around the Denver Nuggets is ridiculous right now, and I think the, with with this matchup right now, I think Miami actually matches up matches up with them really, with really good because with Miami, you don't know who's gonna show up in this game. It could be Caleb Martin. It could be Gabe Vincent. It could be Jimmy Butler one game. When they were dealing with the Lakers, they know who what guy was gonna what what got what who the game plan for. And that was LeBron and Anthony Davis. With this one is completely different. I think Adebayo, he's more of a, a physical big man than A D. Um, I think he's more eat his lunch, bro. I think he's more athletic than him. Um so I I'm I I like the matchup with Adebayo and Jokic, with Jimmy. Obviously, I could I see Jimmy Butler, uh, guarding um, Jamal Murray. Jimmy Butler's defensive presence is you know on the one of the best out there right now, and obviously he could take over the game anytime he wants to. So I think he's gonna give Jamal Murray trouble, and the only reason why the Denver Nuggets are where they're at today is because of Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray's averaging 20 plus, 25 plus in the in the series against the LA Lakers. And the only and the and I've always said about the Denver Nuggets, if they want to get far, 
It, it's going to be Michael Porter Jr. It's going to be Jamal Murray. It's going to be Jokic. They're going to have to drop 25 plus every single game in the series to even have a chance. And that's how they were so successful against the Los Angeles Lakers. People make it seem like the Lakers in the Lakers series was a bad game, a bad series, even though it looked like a sweep. Yeah, it was a sweep, but every single game was close and it was at the end of the wire, though. So it was technically it was an exciting series. So I, I like the Miami Miami Heat in this matchup. Um, I like their bench. I like my Miami's bench better. Um, I think they're more productive. I think they're more consistent. I don't you you are you don't know who's gonna step up, so they don't have no game plan. They the only game plan they got is for Jimmy Butler. And Tyler Hero is actually active right That's now. That's facts. That's so a good point. I think a lot of people are overlooking Miami. I'm definitely not. I'm taking Miami in six games, man. And I'd like Jimmy Butler to win the finals MVP. See, wow. see, see, who did you pick to win finals MVP? Jokic is going to win finals Jokic. MVP. Okay. I'm actually very interested to see if Tyler Hero plays. Uh, a week ago, they said that he was doing a lot of left-hand layups. Uh, he wasn't shooting yet with his right hand. Um, I think eventually in the series he'll come back. I don't know if it's Thursday, though. Okay. Yeah, I think he comes back later in the series. Keo, I got, I got, I got some words for you from the uh, great Martin Lawrence. You a wild boy. <laughs> hey, that boy don't like that boy don't like Denver, boy. That boy just hey, you picking with your heart, not with your head, right now, my guy. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't have no hatred for Denver. No, I don't, you I thought don't... the Lakers was gonna beat Denver. You're right, and you thought yeah. the Phoenix Suns was gonna you beat the Denver too. Nuggets. You didn't. No, I the, didn't. You didn't think the, the Suns? No. Come on, man. You were the only one that you were the one that was on that hype, the hype train. Hey, hey! hey I, before this series, you picked the Suns. Midway, I will say you said it was. I don't know if you said it was over, but I know before the series started, you had Phoenix. Don't do that. Don't yeah, do I did. That. I did. But I'm taking Miami. Very confident in this one. Miami's right. gonna pull this. More, out. more words from Martin Lawrence. You so crazy. Boy, you <laughs> <wild>. <laughs> 